Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to create and configure nested groups in Windows Server 2022 Active Directory. Active Directory security groups enable administrators to grant access to IT resources both within a domain and across domains. While assigning the permissions using groups in Active Directory, we can add users and computers as a member of the group. We can also add groups as a member to the other groups. It is known as a group nesting. In simple word, group nesting is the process of making one Active Directory group a member of another group. A nested group inherits all the permissions and privileges of each group it is a member of. Group nesting in Active Directory allows for better control in managing access to resources in the Active Directory network. Group nesting also makes it easier to assign permissions across multiple domains and greatly reduce the hassle for IT administrators. However, the process of nesting groups can quickly get confusing owing to the various types of groups in Active Directory and their scopes. Whether a group can be nested into another group depends on the scope of each of this group. The best practice for group nesting known as a IGDLA. I for identities which can be user and computer accounts who are members of global groups that represent business roles. Those role groups are members of domain local groups that represent management rules. For example, managing who has read permission to a specific collection of folders. These rule groups are granted an access to resources. In case of a shared folder, for example, access is granted by adding the domain local group to the folder's ACL with a permission that provides the appropriate level of access. That we can see in this example scenarios where we have sales users who are member of sales global group and sales global group is member of sales read a domain local group and we will assign a read permission on our sales folder which is a shared folder. So to understand group nesting we are going to use this scenario in this video. Let's see this concept practically for better understanding. We will start with creating groups. To create a group you must be member of the account operators, domain admins or enterprise admins groups by default. From the server manager's tool menu, select Active Directory users and computers. Right click the domain or other container in which you want to create a group. We will create a group under India Sales OU. Right click the India Sales OU, New and select Group. In the name box, type the name for your group. For example, sales users. Make sure that group scope is global and group type is security. Click OK. The global security group is created successfully. Let's add sales user Tom Cooper to the sales users group. Right click the user account and select add to a group. Type sales user. Click on check names. Sales users populated. Click OK. Operation was completed successfully. Click OK. Right click the sales users OU again, go to new and select a group. In the name box, type the name for your group. For example, sales read. This time, select a domain local group scope. Make sure that group type is security. Click OK. The domain local security group is also created successfully. At this point, we have created two security groups named Sales Read and Sales Users. And we have added a user, Tom Cooper, to global security group named Sales Users. Let's assign permission on the shared folder using this domain local security group named Sales Read. On Server Manager, click on File and Storage Services. Click on Shares. 
click on task and select new share make sure smb share quick profile is selected this is suitable for general file sharing click next choose type a custom path option and click on browse to select the folder which we want to share for this demo i have created one folder named sales data on c drive select the sales data folder and click next click next click next again click on customize permissions to set up advanced ntfs permissions first i'm going to disable inheritance click on disable inheritance click on convert inherited permissions into explicit permissions on this object we want to remove both users permissions entries as by default all active directory users are member of this built in group click on apply now click on add to add a new permission entry click on select a principal link type a group name click on check names sales read is populated click okay we want to assign read permission to the sales read security group on this shared folder and which is selected by default so we just need to click on okay click on apply and okay click next click on create to create the shared folder the share was successfully created click on close under shares we can see sales data folder is listed as a shared folder so we have assigned read permission to sales read group on the shared folder named sales data let's go back to active directory users and computer snapping we want to nest active directory security groups this is the process of putting one group inside another group right click the group that you want to nest inside another group i'm going to right click the sales users group click properties this time we need to go to the member of tab click add look at the group you want your group to be a member of this time we are going to use another method let's click on advance click on find now this will gives the list of all the groups from our active directory domain from this we are going to select our sales read group okay you can search for the security group by typing a name and then clicking the check names button or you can use this advanced button to find your security group manually okay we have selected sales read group click okay the member of tab will now show the nesting you specified but we need to click on apply and okay to save our changes the group has been successfully been nested inside the desired parent group nested groups inherit the permissions and privileges of the group they are put under we can say indirectly sales users group members are also member of sales read group so now a user tom cooper can access the sales data shared folder on which we have given read permission to sales read group let's see the permission and group membership in action but before we go ahead let me show you the current status tom cooper is member of sales users group and sales user group is member of sales read on sales read if we click on members tab we can see sales users listed as a member of this group okay remember we have given read permission to sales read security group on our shared folder name sales data go to windows 10 computer this computer is joined to our active directory domain msaptivwebcast.com let's log into this computer using account of tom cooper open run menu type unc path ws2022 hyphen dc01 and press enter key to access this shared folder which we have created on our domain controller try to access the sales data folder let's double click on it the user can access this shared folder even we have given the permission to only members of the sales read group tom is member of sales user group and sales users group is member of sales read group so this will indirectly grant read permission to tom with the help of group nesting let's try to access the notepad file as we can see tom can read the content of the text file which is created by admin but if he tries to create a new folder he can't 
you need permission to perform the action so user doesn't have right permission user just have the read permission if you want to give right permission on the shared folder you just have to create another domain local group with the name sales right assign the right permission on the shared folder and add the sales users group as a member of the sales right group this will indirectly grant right permission to the member of sales users group and suppose later on if you want to revoke right permissions on the sales data shared folder you just have to remove sales right groups permission entries from the sales data shared folder and this will revoke right permissions from that shared folder i hope you have understand the concept of nested group and its usage while assigning the permissions remember a multi domain forest also contains universal groups that fit in between global and domain local groups global groups from multiple domains are members of a single universal group that universal group is member of domain local groups in multiple domains you can remember the nesting as a igu dla and multi domain forest i for identity g for global group u for universal group dl for domain local and a for access permissions that's all for this video on what is active directory nested groups i hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video please let me know in the comment section thank you all for watching this video have a nice day